Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about tannins, okay? I want to talk about the health benefits of tannins. Now, um, for you guys who don't know what tannins is, it's not a, a, a widely talked about subject, okay, or thing amongst people, okay? And um, But I'm going to talk about the benefits of them today, okay? And I was inspired to do this video because as I was doing some research... I seen some very um some information that was very sketchy okay and um, with my with intuition okay I know I know you know uh, despite doing research I do research to verify what the most high already what I feel like the most high already shares okay with us and with me Okay, then I go back and do research and kind of, you know, bounce it, you know, throw it up against um, what my intuition already tells me, what common sense already tells me, with with logic and reason and and, and ration, rationale already tells me, okay? And I try to see what corresponds, okay, what, what links up, um, what supports what. Um, now this is the thing guys, um, so I was doing some research on tannins, right? As you guys know, you can go back and look at a lot of my videos and um, in the past and I always, here and there, you know, like I said, I try to keep my channel diverse, okay? But um, one of the common themes throughout my channel is uh, health, okay? And healthy healthy eating and healthy healthy food choices and educating us on things that are healthy to eat and why they are healthy to eat and approaching it from an angle that we may not always approach things from okay just to make it sink in and drive it home or uh, like I say it's all it's real easy for someone to say eat healthy but when you start understanding why you need to eat healthy what is eating healthy what is healthy why is it healthy how does this correspond? You know what I'm saying? How how does this um how how does this work? Like I said, when you know how something works, it drives it home better so it can work if that makes sense. Um and so I get into, you know, I I I segue and I and I you know, take steps towards that, okay? Um, I do a lot of things from a, a standpoint of trying to help people who cuz I think about myself say uh 10 15 years ago right where um you know i was always without without even consciously knowing it i was always seeking certain type of information and i just wasn't exposed to it and so i needed things fed to me in a way that you know i needed to be spoon fed because i was a baby when it came to certain information now, while I don't consider myself uh, a full-blown adult when it comes to, to even this type of information, I'm no longer a baby. Um, and so, what, what, but who I try to reach is babies, for, for example, with this, with this information. And so, for example, I always think of my children when I'm doing this because when you're doing anything, right, you're supposed to be thinking about your legacy. You're supposed to be thinking about your future. And so, when I do things like this, when I do videos like this, my channel is based towards not not really thinking that people that I that I might have uh, grew up with, that the people around my age or anything like that that come from the demographic that I come from would necessarily agree or catch on to or or uh, or like what I'm doing, right? But. Uh, but it's more so based on things got to start somewhere. And while, like I said, the demographic that I'm from, and not trying to downplay people or not trying to stereotype people, I'm not saying that it's not people that, uh, from my uh, from my demographic and where I come from and what I come from and, uh, and things of that nature, it's not uh, receptive or responsive to things that I'm saying. Um, not saying that people who are from different demographics are are responsive to what I'm saying just because they're from a, a different demographic. Um, you know, this is who it's for, and this is you know, and and for 
you know, for people who this isn't for, that's just what it is, okay? Um, so with that said, uh, you know, but I, like I said, I think of my children. And I think about the, the, the seed that I want to plant, right? And this will plant a seed. This is planting a seed. I know for a fact it's planting. I know for a fact it's planting a seed that um, that will will grow. Okay. Um, and you know you can't go wrong when you're trying to educate people on being the best best them that they can possibly be. And while we do so much to look outside of ourselves at this particular point in time and in the recent past, I think people are waking up now. People don't have no choice. Uh, some of the, the most sleep of us are waking up to different things at this point because you don't have a choice, you, you know. But um, at the same time, um, you know, uh, you understand how anything even outside yourself starts with 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 uh within okay and what's going on within and so if you can take care of yourself from from within better then um the reflection of what you're going to see on on the outside of yourself is going to be something much more you know it's going to be better right and so that's why this is important information because for those people who um are very you know external for those people who are uh, very three-dimensional from those for those people who who are very um, you could say mundane or materialistic and things like that well you know in order for you to manifest better and to do better right a lot of this a lot of that stuff the the, the foundation of it starts with stuff that I'm talking about you know um, so that's what it's about, changing the mentality, getting people right at the foundation, all right? Uh, like I said, it makes no point, it, it's no point in uh, being a billionaire if you have a billionaire with heart disease, if you're a billionaire that's, di di um, that's obese and or that's diabetic um, or, you know, has uh, uh, cancer, you know, things like that. And now, like I always, I don't always say it, but I always want to reiterate that the most high is um he you know he's the boss and i don't care how well we eat how much we exercise okay how much rest we get and things like that if if um there's plenty of healthy people that still or, or people who thought they was living healthy still get sick okay um there's people who live what we think is completely unhealthy lives and they live to be a, a ripe old age so this is never to um, mock or to think that we are rising above the most high because we, we do certain, because we live a certain way. So therefore, you know, this can't, can't happen to us or this, you know, will happen to us based on what we do. No, um, there's people who smoke and drink Thunderbird or something like that every day of their life. Um, for the past 80 years of their life and they may be 100 years old and then you got someone who may have been a health freak and they they died at you know whatever whatever what we consider a young age so it's not that's not the point but it's not an excuse because some people would use the excuse well i'm gonna go when i'm gonna go so they use that as an excuse to just disrespect their bodies and their temple and not attempt to try to do the right things okay the most high um, he gives us the ability to have knowledge and to get not an acquired knowledge, especially in, in this day and time, in this information age. Um, and you know, and as far as to make good decisions, okay, it's not to say that you're gonna override him, but it's to say, okay, make the best decision that you can for yourself, okay. Um, so you know, uh, with that said, um, tannins now, and, and that was a lot of, I'm sorry, guys, I might have. You know, this video is supposed to be about tannins. Hopefully that was some good wisdom though. So anyway guys, with tannins, alright. Cause this wind gonna just keep picking up. Um, the uh, tan with tannins guys, tannins are basically polyphenols, okay? Polyphenols that are wonderful um, plant compounds, okay? And the thing is, um, the, the plants produce these polyphenols to protect themselves, okay? from animals that or insects 
that try to overeat. Um, the, 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 main, the main word there was over, over, okay? So overconsumption, overeating, okay? And it's to keep balance, okay? But what these polyphenols do for these plants is it makes sure the, uh, the animals, uh, insects, do not overeat them. Therefore, it keeps balance. So what happens is they, it ha it's a defense mechanism, okay? And so just like now, it's a catch-22. Somebody would think like, well, if, if these um, phytonutrients um, or phytochemicals or polyphenols are in the plants to keep animals away, right, then it's poisonous to the animals. Well, it's not necessarily poisonous to the animals unless the animals overdo it, okay? And that goes with anything else. But at the same time, it's beneficial to the plant because it, it, it protects the plant from harm. It protects the plant from funguses. It's antiviral, antibacterial, okay, antifungal, okay, and it's antioxidant for the plants. It helps with, um, if the plant happens to be getting too much sunlight, it, it helps to deal with things, okay? And so it does have the same effect when it comes to consumption in humans. And it has a benefit, um, beneficial effect when it comes to the, the animals and, and, you know, and different insects and Animal, insects are animals, but you know what I'm saying, like different pests that's bigger than insects and then insects. They actually, if, if the insects and the animals eat off of it at, you know, at a, um, at a, uh, you know, uh, a balanced rate, it has beneficial uh, qualities for those insects. And everything that I said that it, you know, it benefits the plant um, to, to be able to protect itself, you know, from, you know, it does the same thing in anything that consumes it, as long as it consumes it in a certain amount of moderation, okay? And it's a, it's a great balance. So therefore the plants don't get taken advantage of, and then the same thing with the animals, okay? But yet everything, it happens in a way where everything can sustain its life and it's a perfect balance. So the same thing with tannins, guys. Tannins are in plant foods, okay? Um, any plant foods has tannins, and tannins are like the sour, bitter taste you get when you uh, drink tea, uh, when you drink wine, when you drink coffee. Those are, uh, are uh, signs of tannins, okay? And these tannins are beneficial for you, especially at a time where you are being harmed so much with the different type of foods and stuff that you eat and the lifestyle. You may need a little bit more tannins than normal, okay? But don't overdo it. Hopefully this is a whole video, guys. Peace.